Just as cases climb nationwide, updated COVID-19 vaccines will be available this week, according to the CDC. Mandy Gaither explains how this one is different and what you should know before you get it. Across the U.S., COVID-19 continues to spread, and now there's a new weapon to help fight it an updated vaccine. Part of the reason, you know, they wanted to get this out there is because while the numbers are still low, thankfully, they are going to go up. They always go up uh, as the weather gets cooler and drier. COVID hospitalizations rose about 9% compared to the week prior, but are lower than last winter's peak. Still, there's no clear picture of how many cases are out there since fewer people are testing, but officials are seeing the virus in wastewater. It's gone up significantly, so that's usually sort of a early warning system, if you will, in terms of how much COVID is out there. To help lower risk of severe illness, hospitalization, or death, the CDC is now urging everyone six months and older who hasn't gotten a COVID-19 vaccine in the last two months to get the updated vaccine. CDC advisors say those ages five and older should get at least one dose. Children six months to four years who may be getting their first COVID vaccine should get two doses of Moderna or three doses of Pfizer, with at least one being an updated shot. The CDC says those who are immunocompromised should be up to date with at least three doses of COVID-19 vaccine and at least one of those doses being the updated vaccine. The new shot is updated to fend off the currently circulating viruses that cause COVID-19 by teaching the immune system to recognize spike proteins of the XBB15 viruses now spreading. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.